Hi kisses and welcome back to Nina Ready Eats. I am so excited. I am at my favorite Korean barbecue restaurant. I have all the sides here, all the little dishes, the radishes, the sauces, the noodles. Everything is here. I am starving. And let's get right into it. I also have a Coke here. You guys, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. that's how I am right now. <laughs> I just got my hair done. I have this event to host tonight. It's my very first booking. I haven't had a hosted event in so many years. I'm so excited. I know it sounds kind of cheesy and corny. It's like whatever, but I'm like, I'm like really excited about it because things are going well, you know? Mm. A little bit of soy sauce here just to give that extra um flavor. You guys, go ahead and get yourself something to eat. Let's have a meal. Let's chit chat. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm. You guys, I have like, life is good. You gotta take life and run with it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Live your life like there's no tomorrow and pass up zero opportunities. If there's an opportunity, go for it. You never know, like you legit never know. Mm. Oh no, I got kimchi all over the place. Uh. Don't worry, it's on my table. Not on the table, on my tray. <gasps> Scallions on there. These are the short ribs. <clears throat> I can't believe this. And the entire time that I've known my best friend, we've never gone out to like a club. Like ever. Isn't that weird? I'm going to be going out with him on Halloween too. So it's going to be like, wow, I'm like really living my life now. <laughs> this lettuce. Is from the mystical, magical forest of Maleficent. This lettuce is that good, is what I'm saying. Mm. I don't know what simple ingredient this is. But it's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Good stuff. Do my lips look purple? <laughs> hmm. Radish. That radish is good stuff. Like seriously. Wow. Mm. These are like rice noodles, I think. Or potato noodles.
my gosh. I haven't felt this self-motivated and self-driven in a very long time. I feel like a lot of obstacles just got removed out of my life. In my past, currently, just a lot of things are changing for me. And I'm just riding the happy wave, okay? I have collaborations coming up people I'm networking with, like people that are actually trying to like help me grow my channel. Mm, cucumber. I'm actually like getting so much support. Um, it's an overwhelmingly like good feeling. And I'm so afraid to like lose that where my mindset is at right now. And I'm so glad that, you guys, I'm just glad that I could just talk to you guys and that you guys even find me like inspiration i'm like me i just want everybody to do good like i'm not a hater if you shining let me put some more flashlights on you so you can shine stronger okay somebody i'm this kind of person somebody call the sun please because this motherfucker right here is shining right now so let's put the more light on them i'm not a hater i'm not like some envious person i really want everyone around me to either do good or do better than i'm doing and for the people that are like in my life they will be able to testify to that and be like yo if anything she's always constantly pushing me to do greater and greater and greater because why not right like why not be supportive of others If you're not helping people become better and yourself, what are you really doing? You know what I mean? The world we live in, we need more love. Like, for sure. Like, let me ask you this. And I'm reading my comments, and I always read my comments, so please, yes, we're having conversations. Like, when I ask you something, it's because I expect you to answer. <laughs> right? You're like, she expected me to answer her. What? <laughs> you know, we talking. But when you first get up in the morning, hey. mm, And be honest with yourself. You don't have to answer me because I'm nobody to be answering to. But what is the first thing you think about, honestly? And you don't have to comment. Um, but if you thought of this question, leave a little kiss mark. Let, that way I know I'm like, okay, they're thinking about this question. Or feel free to comment if you feel open enough to do that. What's the first thing you think about in the morning? What's the last thing you think about at night? And then another thing is, how often do you ask yourself, how are you doing? Look, how often do you say, hey, Nina, in my case, how are you doing today? How are you feeling? Let me check in with Nina. How often do you do that? And then think about how often you ask other people how they're doing. We never check in with ourselves. We just keep going and going and going and going. And before we know it, we feel drained or sad. We don't know why. If your first thought every morning is, what is my life? Like, what am I doing? Oh my God, I hate this. I hate my life. Oh, mm -hmm. Why are these things happening to me? Things need to, you need to change something fast. Because you don't deserve to live like that. You don't deserve to wake up sad. You don't deserve to wake up. You don't deserve that. And even the best of us sometimes lose inspiration or motivation. We do. 
my hair. Your life, the way you feel, a lot of it is a mindset. And I'm learning every day how to like keep my mindset where I want it to be. I'm actually living a happy life other than the fact that I miss my son. That feeling is never going to go away. Like I'm always going to miss my son. I'm always going to feel sad about that. Like I get it. He's a part of my life, you know. I gave birth to him. I carried him. I made him. I went through the struggles of pregnancy with him. Like that's my son. Um... I do reach out to my son every day on Skype. Every single day I send him a message. Try calling the phone. The phone numbers are still the same. The voicemails are still the same. Do you know why I stay so patient and so calm with everything? Because I decided to wake up with a different mindset every day. No more crying. And this happened months ago. No more crying, no more feeling bad for yourself. No pity parties, just get up and get, get, keep going. Excuse me. I'm doing everything the right way. I'm still reaching out to my son. If people aren't picking up the phone, that's on them. You know what I'm saying? So when my son gets older, they're going to have to answer to my son. And he's going to be like, my mom called me every day. My mom reached out to me in Skype every day. So imagine having to deal with those feelings, reaching out to your son every single day. It's been years. You haven't heard anything back. You, don't even, you really don't even know how he's doing. No upgrades, no report cards, no pictures, nothing. Not even a reply to be like, hey, he's good. He's alive. Nothing. Right? So... I could wake up every day and be depressed, right? I have every reason to wake up every day and be depressed, right? Am I right or am I wrong, right? But I don't. Because that's some, somebody else's actions is out of my control. So I got to control what I can control. And what I can control is, yes, I can call my son every day on Skype. Yes, I can send him a message on Skype every single day. That's what I can control. So why would I be mad at the fact that the other party isn't answering the phone or isn't replying back? I no longer even expect a reply back. I don't expect to hear from my son, nothing. I'm waiting for time to pass, working really hard, saving my money, trying to get these lawyer debts out of the way because I owe like $26,000 for lawyer debt. I have two car repos. There's a lot of things I need to catch up with, but I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on grinding, working, continue to record my videos, stay on a positive vibe, stay on a positive mode, and I made the choice to not wake up sad every day. I'm not doing that to myself anymore. You got to make a choice to not wake up sad every day. You got to make a choice to wake up happy. Mm. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you something that's actual factual. The people that have my son right now, if they were happy with who they were, they wouldn't be doing this. That's how I know they're miserable people. Facts. Because when you're genuinely happy inside your soul, you don't behave this way towards other people. You know? You sure as hell don't weaponize a child against a mom. You know what I'm saying? So, right now I'm like really just on my grind, on my hustle, trying to keep going. And I'm proud of myself. Because everybody wanted me to fail. They would pray on my failure. They would pray on my failure. Trust me when I tell you. Nope. I have too much heart. I have too much soul. I have too much go-getter to fail. Learn to love yourself. Everything else will fall into place, I swear. We're too focused on trying to make other things work. Make you work, focus on you, learn to love you. Yes, it's lonely and it's gonna be sad and it's gonna be tough, but I'm here for you. You gotta be there for yourself. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mm. Stay strong. Yes.